Are you freaking kidding me? Ah, oh, boo! Thanks for helping me. Oh my god, I got it. Hate hearing myself. Do not ever think that they're real. It's not an all white shoe. Like, ah, uh, it looks so good. This one smells so good. This one smells so bad. I'm gonna pray. Amen. I'm so tired. I can't even open my eyes. Cute. Here, I like to slick as tight as I can back. It's happening. So many questions on where they're from. I accidentally got the peppermint kind. I think it's fun for the beach. Like, oh my god, I am obsessed with it. I literally only got stuff for Bronson. I want to stop dressing like I'm in college. It is way too cold for me, okay? I have not been able to sleep. I made my own detergent. We are leaving for our one year anniversary trip. Where were you? I'm really just trying to figure out my style. To Okay, I want to say a big thank you to the sponsor of this video, which is Skims. This is like a dream partnership for me. I own so many pieces from Skims. In fact, this sweatsuit is also from Skims. It's their cotton fleece collection. Just a little honorable mention because it's literally some of my favorite sweatsuits I own. But if you've never shopped Skims before, their Fits Everybody collection is definitely the collection I would start with. It is the most buttery soft material. This is like their crossover bralette and it is kind of like bra style, but it's super comfortable, super stretchy. It does have adjustable bra straps, which is so, so nice. Literally, I'm not kidding you. A few months ago, I went through my underwear drawer and I cleaned out all of my old underwear, which feels so good to just like throw everything away. I literally replaced it with all of Skims Fits Everybody underwear. Their thongs are my favorite, hands down. Like they are so comfortable. It's literally the only underwear that I wear. It's so safe to say I I am obsessed like I just think it's the best material it's so buttery soft and it is so stretchy but it never like stretches out if that makes sense and it doesn't dig into you I wear a small in these and they are my favorite underwear hands down thank you skims for sponsoring this video I love you guys so much you do not even know and if you guys are wanting to try out skims highly recommend the fits everybody collection a few of my favorite collections are fits everybody their t-shirts of fits everybody are also Chef's Kiss, amazing. I love the Cotton Fleece collection and I also love the Soft Smoothing collection. So if you're interested in shopping skims, those are my three favorite collections. Highly recommend. I'll link some of my favorites in the description below. Mango. Mango. <gasps> Where were you? You can't just hang out here by yourself. That's a bit scary. <laughs> <laughs> hey, leave them alone. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Channel. Ow. I have quite a lot to do today. I have a few packages coming that I'm very, very excited for. And we are leaving for our one year anniversary trip next week. And I'm so excited. So I need to like start packing slash I might go to the mall to kind of need like one or two cute outfits for that trip. I feel like obviously I have like a ton of active wear, obviously. I have no like normal clothes or I do, but it feels like I have nothing. So you know what I want to do is I really want to go onto Pinterest and like I have a an album or whatever it's called a board called style and it's like all my favorite like just like inspo outfits in that board and i think i need to go on there and like pick out staple pieces and then go through my closet see what i already have and then get the staple pieces that i need and like mix and match i'm just like tired of going into my closet and being like i literally have nothing to wear and i feel like that every single time so i think i'm gonna do like a little spring clean slash revamp of the closet situation because i literally feel like all i wear is activewear mm -hmm. which is kind of kind of true does he look like he likes that? No! Don't be a bully. I have like a million, jillion, 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 trillion loads of laundry to do. I feel like my life is just revolving door of laundry. I'm not even kidding you. But last time I made my own detergent out of borax, um, these bars of soap and essential oils. It works so good and it smells so good. So I'm gonna show you how I make it. It's honestly a little bit of a process because I shave the bars down myself, which takes a while. But if you're looking for like a clean alternative switch, this is like a super easy thing to do. 
I'm gonna have to look up the recipe because I honestly cannot remember. All I know is that here's the ingredients. It's Dr. Bronner's Castile soap. I think that's how you say it. Cast, what is it? Castile? Cast, I don't know. I am like so bad at pronouncing words. It's honestly embarrassing. I accidentally got the peppermint kind, but you're supposed to get the unscented, but I accidentally got peppermint. And then this is like the main ingredient is borax and then just your favorite essential oils i can't remember i think i did like lavender and like something else last time but i'll probably just do whatever my heart desires shoot i almost forgot you also need baking soda do not forget this because this is the main ingredient too Okay, something like this works, but like it's so hard to use. You have to like really push into it. Whereas like honestly, a hand grater like this works so much better and it's like super fine, which I think is better for the detergent. Just please be careful if you decide to do this. Like please do not cut yourself. This is literally a workout, oh my gosh. <sighs> Okay, I'm about to head out and go to the mall, see if we can find anything. This is my outfit of the day. Nothing you've seen this exact outfit before. This morning it was like 45 degrees, which is way too cold for me, okay? I think it's warmed up to like 55 or 60, but you know, I, I love a good puffy coat. This one's from Ooh Lemon. It's actually on sale, but I think they only have the green color, but the green color is very cute. So if you like this jacket, you can check it out. I'll link it in my description. And these are my favorite Amazon leggings. They're from Aox jocks and they're just they're so good they're so good and they're like 20 bucks and it's amazing i went ahead and put on my running shoes just in case i want to like hop over to the gym and just get a good workout in before i come home but anyways let's go i'm thinking we go to zara i feel like that's a safe bet i have been trying to be a lot better about like when we go on trips not shopping for the trip if that makes sense which i know that, that this is like technically what i'm doing but i feel like this is more of like i want to upgrade my wardrobe i feel like post-college it's really hard to like figure out your style because I feel like most of my clothes are like crop tops, jean shorts, and I want to be like more elevated. Like I'm 27. I hate the saying like dress your age, but I do want to stop dressing like I'm in college. I feel like it's hard. It's hard to like dress like an adult, but like still look cute, if that makes sense. So I'm trying to find elevated basics pieces and try and like figure out my style. I'm really just trying to figure out my style to be honest with you. So that's the plan. But like I'm trying to create a wardrobe that where I can just rewear pieces, mix and match, create new outfits, that type of vibe. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I literally only got stuff for Bronson. Like I didn't find anything for myself except for one thing. However, what I found Found is pretty much perfect. I, okay, I love a hat at the beach and I don't like sun hats. I just, I feel like I don't like the way they look on me. I like cowboy hats, but the straw cowboy hat always like disintegrate the second that you get into water. <laughs> so I've had like three and they've all just been destroyed every time I go. So I found this one at Free People and it is the same material as a true sun hat. So it's like way more durable, but it's a cowboy hat. And I was like, that's so cute. Like, I, I'm very pleased about this. Like, this is so cute. Now I just have to get it there without it getting crushed. Maybe I'll wear it. Maybe I'll wear it. Okay, I'm leaving it on while I give you the rest of the haul. Bronson wanted a bunch of shirts. That's what he needed. So um, that's pretty much what I got him. So I got him this one. Very cute. I'm gonna return anything that doesn't fit him um, because he's really picky about the fit of things. But this one is like a kind of like crochet material. And then I got him another one in that kind of same material. This is honestly my favorite one. I think it's so cool. But I know he's gonna complain about the holes in the shirt. But I think it's fun for the beach. Like I think this one is really, really cute. And then this one is more of like a thicker linen it's just like a brown nice shirt this one i like to the pocket and like kind of some of the detailing on it like it has cool detailing right here by the buttons so i thought that this one would look good on him it's like a navy and then i got him a just a little white linen one 
I thought this one, it's kind of like already a little crinkled. So like if it gets wrinkled, it's not really that big of a deal. You know, honestly, uh, these are awesome. I love these shorts. The length of them looks good. They have a pocket. They're very light and like airy. I feel like he's actually really gonna like them. I hope that they just fit him. Oh, and then I did actually get something for myself. Um, I just bought some white linen pants that I wore like all of Bahamas and I'm gonna bring those, but these are almost identical in this like cute, tan color so i got these and they go all the way to the floor like this is like kind of rare i'm 5'7 so i feel like it's kind of hard for me to find pants that go like all the way to the floor but these are really good length and i like the color so i got those as well okay i'm gonna go to the gym here pretty soon and my hair is like duh i think it's day three hair Maybe day two. I don't know. I like to wash my hair like every other day. Not every day. But if I go any longer than that, it gets way too greasy. So I'm probably going to wash my hair tonight. And when it is a hair washing day, I like to do I like to do a hair mask. This is my favorite right now. So this is from the brand Spoiled. I found this on TikTok, obviously. It's raw botana oil. And it's like good for hair growth. So this is the brand. And it looks like this. It's like almost like solid on the inside. And you just like scrape it out. But the second that you rub it in your hands, it like warms up. So I'll put that and then this one. Oh my gosh, this one smells so good. This one smells so bad. <laughs> it smells really, really, really bad. I'm just warning you. But this one is like a Korean hair mask, also found on TikTok. It is so good and makes your hair so soft. So love this one. So I'm just gonna do a little slicked moment. And also when I run and like, I'm planning on doing like a very sweaty workout, a little slick back one is just, it's changed my life, honestly. It really has. I used to never do a slick back bun. And I'm gonna be honest, like I still don't love the way it looks on me. Like I just don't think it's, I just don't think it's the most flattering on my head, but it's so easy and it's so convenient that I'm like, I don't care. I'm literally just gonna do it. Yeah, honestly the part, ooh, that's a pretty good part actually. Look at that. Mm -hmm. See, it all rubs away. I just try and rub it right here is where my hairline I feel like is shedding a little bit. And I'm like, hello. Please don't do that. Thank you. I would like would like to have a full head of hair. Thank you. So I'll do this one first. Jeez, it smells so bad. It honestly smells like the earth. Like it smells like, it kind of smells like coffee in a way, but not in a good way. I'll just rub it, try and get it all the way down to my scalp. And honestly, a little goes a long way. Like I feel like I've done this for weeks now and that's all that I've gotten out of that. Oh, this one. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, and then this is how I like to do my buns. Here, I like to slick as tight as I can back. And then here, I like to go down to keep the part. And then you just kind of like blend the two, if that makes sense. Because you want to keep the part. If you don't keep the part, it just it gives egg. Even more than it already does, it gives egg, okay? And the key to making it stay, you need a hairband that can stretch, like really stretch. I honestly use this one almost every time because I know it can fit four times. It's from Gimme Beauty. I think it's the long hair hair tie and it's it's honestly so great. And they don't have like the little plastic thing so it's not going to break on you, which is so annoying. And the bun, I just twist and wrap until I can't anymore. And then this hairband is also important. I try and do it. Nah, I can't get three. I did it two. I try and do three. If I'm like running, sometimes this does not stay, but oh well. There she is, looking like an egg. Give it a good few little. Cute. Good morning, vlog. Just got back from the gym. Hit some legs, hit some chest, hit some arms, all the fixins. Oh, really? Mama's a little sleepy today. I can't sleep at night. Something's wrong with me. Do you not believe me? Do I need proof? I'm so tired, I can't even open my eyes. My dogs loved you. Oh, they're so cute. I love you. That's launching? Yep. Okay. Maybe sooner. We'll oh, see. oh, okay. Right. I love you. I love you all. Ew! Bye. Bye, babe. Dude. I actually don't know what's wrong with me. Like, I, one, let me tell you, I have never had a problem sleeping. Like, I'm normally the type of girl, my head hits the pillow and I'm like, like immediately. I'm not even kidding you. Bronson used to get so annoyed because he's not like that. And I would like just immediately fall asleep when we got into bed. For the past like two weeks, dude, I have not been able to sleep literally every night. I'm like doing all the things right. Like I, we even started like a new nighttime routine. I like am not on my phone for like 
an hour before we go to bed. I'm sleeping with it plugged in in the bathroom. I uh, am taking magnesium at night. Uh, I turn on the red light like lamp thing. Like literally everything that you can think of, I'm doing it, okay? I don't know what it is, but like last night was better. I went to bed at, or I could like fall asleep around like 1.30, but we got in bed at 9.30, okay? So that was like hours of tossing and turning. The past few nights, I haven't even been able to like remotely close my eyes and like actually fall asleep until like 4, 4.30. It's literally insane, like so annoying because I love sleeping. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, y'all. Ah. And I was like, I physically Do you guys have to fight right now? Okay, no pause. That hurts. Anyways, all that being said, our alarm went off at 5.50 a.m. And I looked at Bronson and I was like, dude, I barely got any sleep last night. Like, I can't get up this early. So I slept in. It's 8 a.m. now. And um, I gotta get up. Because the dogs are going crazy. I have a snuggle. My snuggly cute boy always giving me snuggles. Oh, you're so sweet. Yes. Okay, no licks. No licks. Thank you. That's so sweet. You're a nice girl. You're a nice girl. Okay, let's get up. Dear God, please bless this food. Help it to nourish our bodies. Help us to have a great day today. We love you so much. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Good dog, you guys are so good. Okay, so yesterday we got, this was the package I was so excited for. It was, I ordered a new duvet cover for our bed from Quince. It's like this beautiful linen, like off-white color. And I saw this girl on TikTok and she said that if you wanted your room to look like a hotel, like a big fluffy hotel bed, you get a duvet and you get two duvet inserts. And that's how you make it look like super fluffy, super luxe. And that's what I did. So it looks really good, but I haven't, I've have yet to see it in the daytime. This quilt is now like the exact same color and I don't really love that. So I kind of want to get something else here and like different throw pillows, but I love this. Oh, it looks so good. I love this off-white color. I think it's so pretty. I want to say it's called like sand or something like that. And then this is random, but you guys need this blanket. Oh my gosh, I can't remember the brand. I'll put it on the screen if I can remember the brand name, but it's like a cooling blanket. So we put this one underneath and it just like is the most amazing blanket ever. It just like keeps us cold at night. Cute. Love it. Okay, also, every time I wear these pajamas, I get so many questions on where they're from. They're from the brand We Wore What. I am obsessed with all of their pajamas. These ones top them all, like honestly. I'm wearing a small in both and these pants are just amazing. Like they flow so nicely. They're not super tight. And then this is just the cutest little print. But yes, I'm obsessed with these. I have them in like two or three colors. <laughs> we have been dropping apparel for um, powders. And this is one of the designs that Paige did. I think it's so cool. We've been working on this one for a while. So she like did this little running guy and like spray paint and it says daily wellness club. And then it says powders on the back. We like minimal branding. This is just like a little pump cover that we're releasing and it's launching today. So you guys are gonna get to watch my makeup. Little uh, Instagram story. <laughs> this is like just embarrassing. This is gonna be embarrassing. Very exciting day because we have these pump covers launching. They are now live on the site if you wanna go grab one. It's very exciting day because we have these Ah, I hate Hi. hearing myself. Okay, here is the outfit of the day. Nothing really that special. I'm just wearing like this Skims. I can't remember this collection. It's not fits everybody, it's, oh, soft smoothing. Love this, love this collection. So I love this t-shirt and then I'm just wearing some leggings from Liaison and then this coat is from Viore. This is like, I have been living in this lately. It is like sweatshirt material, but 
it's a pea coat, so I am obsessed with this. And right now, with the weather going back and forth like it is, I'm like, this is the perfect thing to wear. It's cold again today, which is so annoying. Like, I tanned the other day, and now it's like back to freezing again. And then this little hat, I can't remember the brand that it's from, but it says God is good all the time. I will link all this stuff in the description, but um, I can't remember the brand. But yeah, it's a really cool hat. I love the orange. I wanna get some more bright trucker hats. I feel like they add a fun little flair to an outfit. And then this purse. This, obviously, all my purses are from DHK. Do not ever think that they're real, seriously, because I'm not willing to spend thousands of dollars on a purse, especially when there's like dupes like this that exist. If you have a problem with dupes, don't take it up with me, okay? Because I'm a dupe girly. But this one is honestly like probably the best one I've gotten from DHK. It just is like so quality feeling. Like I just, I really, really like this one. I will link this exact one in the description. Uh, if it's still available, sometimes they get taken down. But um, this this seller, I really, I really like this one. So anyways, outfit of the day. I need to go run a few errands and return some stuff. I recently got these tennis shoes in. I ordered them from free people but they're from on running and I was really looking forward to it however they like marketed them as running shoes like outdoor running shoes and maybe this is on me probably is but they're called cloud ultra twos and I think that they're literally for like ultra marathons slash trail running I obviously ordered them from free people so like it didn't say like the description of the shoe really and I just thought that they were really cool I was like oh those are so cool and fun they're like neutral it's not an all white shoe like I normally wear the bottom is like very like traily and they're not enough cushion for me like they're a little hard which is similar to what a trail running shoe is so yeah anyways these were these are going back so i need to make a little return and then literally bronson only like two of the shirts that i got him yesterday from zara so i need to take all that stuff back I know that literally everyone and their mom knows about this song already because of TikTok, but I am literally obsessed with it. Whenever I could not sleep last night, I have reason to believe it was because I, this song was like stuck in my head. I, I could not get it out at all. I was just singing it over and over last night when I couldn't sleep. Don't take Okay, I might have stopped by the Crate and Barrel outlet just because I was over here. And I like to just pop in because I get new stuff like twice a week. I found, I've been looking for a really pretty chandelier for our dining room and I have never been able to find one. Like I've been looking at vintage shops, resale shops, and everything is like honestly really expensive even at those types of shops. I found one here, so gorgeous. And it's literally, I think I got it for like 120 bucks which is like way cheaper than anywhere else I would find it. Oh my God, I am so obsessed. Like I cannot, I cannot wait, except I don't know how to put it up. I might need my dad's help again. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? I love it. Oh my gosh, it's kind of heavy. Dare I try and put it up today? You know I'm gonna try. <laughs> Dang, so everything you get from the Crate and Barrel outlet is like as is, and I didn't even notice that it was like broke right here. So I'm gonna have to try and find a way to like, it looks like someone like tried to glue it already, but there's like two parts where it's broken. But I think I can probably, it's fine here and it's fine here. So it's just those other two spots, but isn't it pretty? It's like a little bit beachy and I was nervous it would look too beachy, but I think it just looks like vintage in here. Hopefully it's not super long though, because this room is not tall and I don't know how to shorten that or if it's even possible. <laughs> All right, I'm a little scared. <laughs> Electrical work, not my forte, I'm gonna be honest. Is anything really my forte actually? I would say no. It's a DIY girly and I will figure it out. So what we have to do though is turn off the electrical. I don't know how to do that. Let's hope that was it. I just turned off the whole house. Oh yeah, baby, I did it. Come on, dogs. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you so much. Oh, I am so pumped about this. Okay, this is just wonderful news. 
Okay, this is not gonna be a good look for me, but. <laughs> Thumbnail. Oh, you know what? I think it's probably better just to take this off. I genuinely don't know if I can get the other one off though. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's like, it feels like that was a two person job, but this definitely feels like a two person job. I could not find what I needed. <laughs> I had to order it on Amazon. So you needed like this thing to go on the ceiling. You guys don't care, it doesn't matter. I had to order it on Amazon, but I got light bulbs and I need to fix that little spot. So we'll do that. And then I got a new little dimmer thingy my bobber because I don't like the current ones we have. But at least we can fix it. It honestly has to cure for a long time. So I'm like, that's probably for the best. I'm just sad I wanted to have it put up before Bronze got home so I could show him how awesome I was. I can't believe I found this chandelier. Like seriously, I'm obsessed with it. It's so gorgeous. Get back. You can't help with this. Thank you for trying, but you cannot help with this. Okay, I think I'm about to go walk and maybe do like a little upper body workout, maybe. I'm getting really tired, so I'm like, I don't, I don't really have the motivation. I should have worked out earlier in the day, but I do this thing where I just wait. I've been waiting. Maybe this is why I'm not sleeping. This could actually very well be it. Normally I take my pre-workout in the morning, do my workout, everything's fine. But I've been waiting to work out until like early afternoon and like taking pre-workout at like 2 p.m. ish, sometimes 3 p.m. So that could very well be it. I'm not gonna take any today because I literally slept so horrible last night and I really need to get some good sleep tonight. So I'm gonna go walk on the treadmill for a little bit and if I feel like hitting an upper body day, I will do that. Uh, I have to show you guys my little outfit of the day, not this jacket. I just threw this on because I was cold. I actually just got these shorts in the mail. They are from Abercrombie. They're the your personal best ones. I literally ordered them in every color because they just restocked and they were out of stock for so long, but they have sliders underneath. I'm obsessed with them. I have them in both a small and a medium and I think this small looks better on me, but the mediums feel better on me. So I got these ones in a medium. I just love the way they look. And then this is the new Lululemon Align tank top. They made it in like strappy version, which I prefer. And I think it's so cute. So I'm just wearing a little all white moment. How cute. Okay, there you go. Okay, here is dinner. I did a little um, zucchini noodles, ground bison, and then obviously some pasta sauce and Parmesan cheese. And then I threw in some sauteed mushrooms and onions as well. And then Bronson. La pizza, la pasta. La pizza, la pasta. He's doing a little pizza night again. Oh yeah, again? Yeah. Didn't we do these the other night? Or was um, that on the last vlog? I can't remember. These often. are so easy though that it's just like you have to do it. Just too good. And I'm getting a lot of protein because I'm loading it up. Oh, wow. Oh, Bronson, tired. yeah, he just ran how long? How far? Five? Yeah. He's training for his 100 miles, so. 100 he, kilometer. Oh, 100 kilometer. Excuse me. It's different. It's different. It's less cool. Yeah. I did a 45 minute walk and then I did um, arms, like an arm circuit. I didn't want to do much today. I'm honestly feeling very tired because I did not sleep well last night. 
So we're probably gonna go to bed after this and just get some good sleep tonight. I am thinking of sleeping a little bit. I was kind of thinking that too. What it is? Or what's up? What's up? It's happening. Everyone stay calm. The peace came in. I am just waiting for Bronson to get home and we can put up the chandelier. I am so excited. Here's the outfit of the day. I am obsessed. These, let me just pick my wedgie, don't mind me. Um, these are the Align shorts. I am obsessed with this color. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it is so cute. And then I got this like little high neck tank and I'm just wearing that with it. And then I got this from the men's section in the same color and it's so cozy. It's so cozy and comfy. This is like the neckline of that tank. It's super, super cute. You're about to put up this chandelier and I'm so excited. <laughs> <coughs> what? I want to see. I have to do it first. It's not done? She didn't do it? Well, she did it crazy. Wait, let me see it. Come on, please. Let me do it my way. Please, babe. I just want to see. I'm begging. <laughs> okay. Don't wet it. Okay. You kind of look like that guy from Jersey Shore. <laughs> What? Oh. <laughs> so That is way too wet, bro. It's dripping. See, as you can see, we're working on getting the mullet back, so we're leaving it back here. Okay. Getting the sides. It's too wet. Okay, now we're talking. Now it's not so crazy. She had it like so. It just looks like normal hair. Yeah, it didn't before. It looked like Well, the sides look good. She oh, did a good job, yeah. Yeah, she, mullet, she's great. Mullet season coming back. Mullet loading. <laughs> mullet loading. Yeah. Um, I have a question for you. Can you help me put up the chandelier really quick? Me. I never do anything done when I work from home. Kylie. Yes, you do. I literally knew this was going to happen. Uh, yeah, I can. Uh, I just need you to hold it up. I can do everything else. No, no. Yeah, I just have to meet with Paige because she has to go to the doctor. No, this so will I take can. five minutes. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Because, yeah, I just didn't want it to be. No, it's not too low. I mean, too high. I honestly think that's fine. I think it's perfect. Because they don't want it too low to where it gets in the way of things. Exactly. But you don't want it too high or at least. <gasps> it looks so good. I need to straighten out some of the things. Oh my god, I am obsessed with it. I am literally obsessed with it. <gasps> good job, Boo. Good Thanks job. for helping me. My pleasure. <laughs> 